Chocolat is the story of a French woman named Vianne and her daughter Anouk. Continually relocating around Europe, they find themselves in a small rural village in France and open a chocolaterie op opposite the local church, just as the villagers have begun the Lenten season. Vianne does not attend Mass and does not conform to the conservative ways of the community, much to their disapproval. The novel explores the value of loving your neighbour amidst questioning the intention behind religious practice and tradition. In Lent, we are remembering Jesus' sacrifice, and through self-reflection and fasting, we are trying to understand some portion of what he gave for us. We can deepen our empathy with his suffering by fasting, whether that's food, alcohol, makeup, TV, internet shopping, etc. But we aren't giving things up to deny ourselves what we enjoy because Jesus had to die on a cross and it's only fair that we make things hard for ourselves too. And if our intention is to make it through 40 days without something because it's church practice, then are we missing the point? Chances are this will leave us feeling unfulfilled, resentful and less inclined to love others. And if I stop indulging in chocolates until Easter Sunday, but don't contribute anything in my home or have arguments with my family, have I really humbled myself and become more like Jesus? Lent is not just about suffering. The most powerful message of the Gospel consistently is love. Why did Jesus die on the cross? Why did God put his Son on earth knowing that we would crucify him? Not for the sake of suffering, but for his overwhelming, unconditional love for his creation. Although there is pain and there is sorrow, the Easter story is hope, is triumph, is joy. And although we're waiting for the celebration, remembering a time of darkness, that is no reason to stop being a light. In fact, it is especially now that we want to shine with love for others. That is not to say that we actually shouldn't fast in Lent, but rather what the village in Chocola come to discover is that abstinence is not the primary focus. In the film adaptation, the priest's final sermon beautifully encapsulates this message. I think that we can't go around measuring our goodness by what we don't do, by what we deny ourselves, what we resist and who we exclude. I think we've got to measure goodness by what we embrace, what we create and who we include.